Naruto, 10 My Hero Academia villains the Akatsuki would recruit. The Akatsuki only recruits the best, and if they had access to the My Hero Academia universe, they would find several villains who can help them. My Hero Academia debuted in 2014, and it has gone on to become one of the most popular series in the world. It is set in a world where the majority of humanity possesses some kind of power, called a quirk. And some people use their quirks for nefarious purposes. These criminals are known as villains, and some of them possess quirks that are either very useful or destructive in nature. Naruto is another popular series, but it focuses entirely on ninja, and the Akatsuki is a criminal organization comprised of ten incredibly skilled and powerful rogue ninja. Other than Zetsu, every Akatsuki member is a Kaga level ninja who can take on a tailed beast and their Jinchuriki. The Akatsuki only recruits the best, and if they had access to the My Hero Academia universe, they would find several villains who can help them in some way. 10. Mr. Compress would make capturing Jinchuriki tailed beasts much easier. Mr. Compress is by no means a skilled fighter, but he does possess a quirk that would make capturing Jinchuriki and tailed beasts a lot easier. His quirk allows him to compress anything he touches into a marble-like object, including other living beings. If he was able to get close enough to a Jinchuriki or tailed beast, he could use his quirk to capture them, and considering how small the marbles are, it would be easy to transport them to one of the Akatsuki's hideouts. He can also use his ability to maim people by compressing specific body parts. Which means that he can remove the limbs of a tailed beast to make them easier to capture. 9. Kurojiri's quirk is perfect for infiltration missions. Kurojiri would be a great Among Us imposter because his quirk would allow him to travel to another portion of the map within seconds. The quirk is called Warp Gate and it gives him the ability to manipulate a dark fog that acts as the base for his teleportation powers. Anything that comes into contact with this fog gets teleported to a place of Kurojiri's choosing. And the Akatsuki could use this ability to complete very difficult infiltration missions. If multiple members are caught in a difficult situation, he can just appear and rescue them. And if anyone tries to follow, he can send them to a completely different region. 8. Overhaul's ability to disassemble things would be very useful. Certain quirks make no sense, but there are others that can be explained through science, and Kai Chisaki's quirk can certainly be explained. The quirk is called Overhaul, and it allows him to disassemble anything he touches, but he can also reassemble it however he wants. This means that Chisaki has control over all matter. And that is an ability that the Akatsuki would find very useful. If he can touch a tailed beast or Jinchuriki, he can render them immobile in a matter of seconds. He can also merge with other beings. So he could theoretically take over a tailed beast's body and use its power for the Akatsuki. 7. Dobby's blue flames would burn most ninja to a crisp. There are a handful of quirks that can potentially destroy the real world, and Dobby's is one of them. The quirk is called cremation. And it allows his body to create highly destructive blue flames. The strength of these flames depends on the strength of Dobby's emotions, and he can now control them from a fair distance away. These flames burn much hotter than normal fire, which means that he can probably negate most fire-style jutsu. He is capable of burning multiple enemies to ashes within seconds which means that very few ninja would be able to survive his fiery attacks. 6. Twice can literally give the Akatsuki its own army. Twice is a mentally unstable villain, but that has not stopped him from being an effective criminal. His quirk is called Double. And it allows him to create an exact duplicate of anything as long as he knows its measurements and characteristics. When he creates duplicates of people, the clones keep their own autonomy. And they possess the same abilities as the original, 
which means that he can instantly double the Akatsuki's numbers and firepower. His ultimate move consists of him cloning himself. And those clones then clone themselves. This process can continue until there are literally thousands of physical clones, which means that twice can provide the Akatsuki with a full army at no cost in a matter of minutes. 5. Joy Iranaka could be used to set up large-scale traps. Joy Iranaka's mimicry quirk allows him to merge his body and mind with solid objects that he can then manipulate, but under normal circumstances. He can only use this quirk on objects that are as large as a refrigerator. If he has access to the quirk-boosting drug, Trigger, his power gets amplified to the point that he can merge and manipulate entire locations. If Iranaka can control an entire location, the Akatsuki can funnel a Jinchuriki into a designated area and wait for him to trap them in a makeshift cell. He could also wait inside the area and bombard the Jinchuriki with surprise attacks while they are fighting other Akatsuki members. 4. Curious would be a good replacement for Daidara. Daidara can mold his explosive chakra into clay to create powerful bombs, which is why he is the Akatsuki's explosives expert. Chitos Kazuki's codename is Curious, and she could theoretically replace Daidara because she can produce explosions with her landmine quirk. The quirk allows her to turn anything she touches into an explosive which means that she can potentially injure a Jinchuriki by simply placing an innocent finger on their body. Individual explosions are not strong enough to be lethal, but she can set off a chain of explosions to make up for it. 3. Stain's quirk can paralyze anyone with a single cut. Stain is one of the fastest characters in My Hero Academia, and his quirk makes him one of the only characters who can probably beat every member of the Akatsuki. His quirk is called, Blood Curdle, and it gives him the power to paralyze his opponents. This quirk only activates when Stain tastes some of his opponent's blood, and the duration of the paralysis depends on the person's blood type. In a ninja battle, paralysis for any length of time means certain death, and if he manages to paralyze a Jinchuriki, they will be captured and subdued immediately. 2. Gigantomachia can literally go toe-to-toe -to -toe with tailed beasts. Some Akatsuki members are capable of taking on a tailed beast alone, but the fight would still be difficult because of the beast's overall size. Gigantomachia is massive thanks to his gigantification quirk, so he should be able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a full-sized tailed beast, especially since he possesses several other quirks. One quirk allows him to convert his morale into physical energy and endurance, while another makes him immune to pain. His dog quirk gives him a keen sense of smell and sight. While his mole quirk allows him to burrow through the earth. He also has a quirk that allows him to harden his muscles. 1. Tamura can destroy an entire village single-handedly. Like several other anime villains, Tamura Shigaraki does not know when to quit, and he possesses one of the most destructive quirks in the series. Decay gives him the ability to disintegrate anything he touches, but he needs to touch the object with all five of his fingers. The strength of his quirk has increased to the point that he can now destroy large portions of a city single-handedly. Which means that he can easily destroy a ninja village if given enough time. He can also choose to spare certain targets from his quirk, which means that he can keep a Jinchuriki alive if one is present in the village.